An older gentleman is in distress. 10-4. I am on it. When dealing with someone in mental distress it is important to identify yourself, call the person by name, use short and simple sentences, speak low and distinctively, and remember you can't always fix it. Hi I am Officer Delgado, I am here to help and there are some people concerned with you. What's your name? At this point, take notice of some of the affects. Excessive feelings of sadness, fear or worry, hopeless, helpless, and or worthless. Confused thinking. Excessive irritability or anger. Avoiding friends and or social activities. Excessive mood swings, mania and depression. Difficulty perceiving reality, delusions or hallucinations. Thoughts about suicide. At this point you will be able to decide if you need to engage your policies and call for a MRT. If a MRT is not available a Baker Act may be necessary to protect them from self-harm. A metaphor to help understand mental illness is to compare the brain, its functions, and a computer. The brain, like a computer, helps to operate the person in their daily living. The brain has many functions to include processing, storing, and retrieving information, regulating emotions and behaviors, problem solving, etc. Computers get viruses and it might shut down, make it harder to process and or retrieve information, and become all around more difficult to work. Think of the brain, like a computer, because it controls our bodily functions. When our brain is not working well, it impacts our ability to function well. Mental illness is an illness. As the brain can get sick, so can it get better. Be sure to reflect on your CIT training. Using your phone please scan the QR code for a 2-minute survey and additional resource link.